Color OS 7 is here. I've got it on my Renault 10 X Zoom. And today's video is about the top 15 changes that Color OS 7 brings with it. Hey guys, Ash here from C4 Retech. And if you do end up liking what you see in this video, please turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. Let's now get started. So before we check out the new features here, let's take a look at the About screen. As you can see, this is ColorOS 7 built on top of Android 10. And given it's Android 10, some of the standard Android 10 features like digital well-being and dark mode, they are present and accounted for here. And we aren't going to be focusing on the Android 10 features in this video. So for a close look at everything Android 10, here's a card to my in-depth Android 10 video. Please go ahead, check that out. Okay, with that out of the way, let's now start with the first ColorOS 7 change here, the look and feel. When we look at these two home screens side by side, the differences between ColorOS 6.1 and ColorOS 7 might not be that stark. Now that's because uh, Oppo's continued on with the same design philosophy, which is a good thing. Uh, and you'd notice that Oppo's tweaked a few things though. The icons, they look refined, the font, it's it's now the new Oppo Sans, which uh, in my humble opinion looks a lot better. The entire look for that, uh, for that matter, it's more minimal and uniform now. The biggest change here, it's gotta be in the settings menu. It's still arranged the same way, but the new icons and spacing gives it an entirely new look that feels more stock Android-ish. Now, while the, on the topic of visual changes, the quick toggles on the notification panel They've also been made smaller, so they don't take up the entire screen now. In fact, they're kind of what we've seen with uh, One UI, where the toggles are further down the screen, so it's easier to reach them single-handed. And to maintain the uniformity, when toggled, they all switch to the same color, unlike in the past where we could see the quick toggle switch to a host of different colors when activated. There are also a lot more visual changes here. And remember how I said the icon size on the home screen, they are smaller now? Well, not exactly. They're pretty customizable though. And that brings us to number two. We can set different styles of icons, of course. And going into custom here, it lets us adjust the rounded corners and the art size or app logo on the inside or the size of the icon itself based on the choices made. Other than this, we also have new animations across the board and maybe it is placebo, but it seems like ColorOS 7 is a little bit snappier with app, app open times. At least, that is as per Oppo's claims. And another interesting little bit, interesting bit of customization here is with the alarm tone. It is set to weather adaptive, so basically it plays a tune according to how the weather is outside. Now, if this sounds uh, familiar to you, it is because we saw the same thing with MIUI 11. Now, along with all of this, we also have a bunch of new wallpapers and live wallpapers that ColorOS 7 brings to the table. So, there are a lot of customization options that Oppo is offering here, especially from a visual perspective. Speaking of which, we get a number 5, the system-wide dark mode. It's very much like what we've seen with stock Android 10. And it even comes with a toggle that can force dark mode on third-party apps that don't support it yet. With some apps like Flipkart, the implementation isn't perfect, but it's still a very nice little option to have. We can also set dark mode to trigger at specific times of the day, and we can set it right here from the settings menu. Now, while this is technically an Android 10 feature, with ColorOS 7, Oppo's tweaked it a little, and hence it finds its own spot on this list. Now, if you thought the weather-based alarm was a little too MIUI-ish and the dark mode was a little too stock Android-ish, here's a OnePlus-ish feature for you. The focus mode. With ColorOS 7, you can turn on the focus mode and it, off it offers a timer with an option to play some ambient music and create a soothing atmosphere. It basically disables most apps and notifications and even gives you an option to disable calls if you want to. It's supposed to help us stay focused and how this actually differs from OnePlus's Zen mode? Well, it is just not as extreme. Uh, it's not as stringent or strict. We can pause it if needed and even exit it at any point of time and get back to 
all the distractions that Color OS 7 has to offer. Now these distractions, they include social media apps and these social media apps, well, not just social media apps, uh, all the popular apps, most of them, uh, they demand access to a lot of private information like phone numbers and contact details to function properly. Well, sometimes we don't want to give away our personal information. This is where ColorOS 7 steps in uh, as it sends empty data packages to apps whenever they ask for any private information. So we can protect our call history, contacts, private messages, etc. this way. This seems to be an awesome feature to have, especially in a current scenario where we keep hearing of some major data breach or the other every single day, right? Now, it is also worth mentioning that ColorOS 7 brings payment protection as well as file protection features. Payment protection works with Paytm as well as most popular e-wallet apps in India. And file protection basically reminds us before we delete an image uh, or any mp3 or so on. Now talking about images and music, let's talk solo. With TikTok and Instagram videos becoming very popular these days, Oppo has come out with Solo, a dedicated video app that uses AI to stitch together small videos that are perfect for an Instagram story or a TikTok post. It's fairly easy to use too. Just choose the number of clips or even images and boom, the video is done. Now this is awesome if you just want to make a quick video the option to add effects and captions, it just adds to the allure and functionality of the app and increases the level of polish of your final video. And now we get to number 10, Oppo, even with ColorOS 6.1, uh, it came with game space on board and with ColorOS 7, Oppo's kind of pushed that up a notch. There's a visual refresh with cool new opening animations added to it. Now what's really new here is the game assistant that we have on board. It's a dedicated control center for pro gamers and it even, uh, for example, has readouts for CPU as well as GPU utilization. There are the regular options to block notifications, reply to messages, and of course, take a screenshot or record gameplay. Now, one small but very important point to note here is that while recording gameplay, you can also pause it. Now, I'm sure this is something many gamers will appreciate. Now, number 11, we have Hyperboost technology, which Oppo claims should in increase screen response times by as much as 35%. Now, this means aiming with that touch screen, it should feel way smoother. Now, moving on to number 12, the smart sidebar, it has also gone through a visual overhaul. It now looks slimmer and takes up less space on screen. It lets us set up split screen apps by just dragging and dropping them from the bar. And then there are a few options thrown in to customize the look and feel of the sidebar itself, like making the tiny little part of it transparent or hiding it with full screen apps and so on. And then there is the new way of taking partial screenshots. Swipe with three fingers, it still gets us full screen screenshots. You know, that's how it used to work, that's how it still works. But now we can hold three fingers and then swipe down so that only that particular part of the screen is included in the screenshot. Ergo, partial screenshot. Now, it took me a bit of time to get used to this, but I kind of find it getting, you know, useful pretty quick for me. I kind of find myself getting used to it. I can see that happening because, you know, say I want to quickly take a little bit, I mean, capture something on screen, uh, take a snippet of a WhatsApp message to send to somebody or something. I can see myself using this. Now, now, at number 14, we've got gesture navigation, taking another page right out of the MIUI playbook. ColorOS 7 has MIUI style gesture navigation controls here. So swipe from the sides to go back, swipe and hold for quick switch, swipe from the bottom for home, swipe and hold for recents. I mean, I really like MIUI's navigation system and I'm glad to see ColorOS adopt the same. Now, moving on to number 15, the final one on our list. Now, this one's India specific and one of the best features that ColorOS 7 brings with it, Doc Vault. Now, this is Oppo partnering with India's digital document issuing platform DigiLocker to form an app uh, that can store sensitive data like our Aadhaar card and driving license directly on the phone itself. Now, this is something a lot of us appreciate. Uh, we also get the option to download PDFs and print them out directly from the app itself. So I guess that's pretty much it for the features. Okay, not really. As always, there's a bonus feature. Actually, there are quite a few bonus features here. 
The smart assistant page to the left of our main home screen. It has a tab for games where we can follow the scores of all our favorite football and cricket teams as well as leagues. Now bonus feature number two. Yes, I am numbering bonus features now. Oppo all allows us to configure the swipe down from uh, for either pulling up search or pulling down the notification shade. Appreciate that. Now it's not just the visual features that you know they've tweaked around. Oppo has worked on the camera as well. The night side algorithms they've been tweaked to produce better results than before, and we should be getting brighter pictures with less noise from the ultra night mode. We're also supposed to be getting video bokeh as well as AI beautification 2.0. I'm not sure which all phones are going to be getting this, as in the whole suite of uh, these with Color OS 7, uh, which is why I have these listed under bonus features. Uh, so that's about it for this video. Now I want to know what is it uh, that you guys really find interesting with Color OS 7. Let me know in the comments below. Me personally, I kind of feel Color OS 7 is uh, Oppo's Color OS kind of maturing. The visuals, they look more professional. The fonts, the icons, the notification bar. And personally, I, I think that's what I like the best here. So I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Now, has your phone got the Color OS 7 update? Well, if you're watching it right now, today, when I've uploaded this video, probably not because Color OS 7 is still in beta and we've just managed to get it on our Reno 10X Zoom. But you can go ahead and see when your phone is gonna get Color OS 7 or if it's gonna get Color OS 7. I'll leave a link in the description below and that's basically Oppo's roadmap for Color OS 7 updates. So check it out if you have, if you wanna know uh, when and if your phone's gonna get Color OS 7. But what about you? Let me know in the comments below. And also, thanks a lot for putting up with me. I know my throat's really messed up and uh, it has been for the last four or five days. This is the best I've sounded and I thought I could probably get this video out. I, I still sound a little weird. So if you've made it this far, thank you. I generally ask you for a thumbs up, but this time it's me giving you a thumbs up. Thank you for making it all the way to the end and as always if you can go ahead give this video a thumbs up subscribe turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon if you haven't yet thanks a lot for watching till next time my name's ash you've been watching safe for retech and i'm signing off for now you guys have a great day bye bye